You know how Gabrielle has been exposing Dwayne's secrets and telling us about how he is secretly gay? Well, Dwayne is now firing back, exposing her for allegedly putting hands on him. Nobody has the right to hit you. But if they hit you the second time and you stay, you are communicating that this behavior is acceptable. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Uh, Dwayne Wade and Gabrielle Union, uh, the picture perfect marriage supposedly is is coming to an end. I guess they're getting divorced. It's been rumored for so quite some time that uh, Gabrielle Union is always rumored that she's a bit of a handful. Let's just say, let's leave it at that. Okay, all right. Like, what does she do that makes her? I, I guess I've heard that she's put hands on him, right? Yeah, she's she's be well. He they, so what? So let me give you the background first. What happened was this was supposed to be the picture perfect relationship, right? Everything doing, they're doing Peloton together. They're doing, you know, yoga balls together. Actually, uh, Dwayne Wade is doing more yoga balls than anybody else. But they okay. were supposed to be the allegedly, yeah, allegedly. Let's, let's not forget allegedly. Yeah, right. Allegedly, he's supposed to be doing yoga balls. You could say whatever wild shit you got to say. Just throw in allegedly, sprinkle allegedly in just, there. Yeah. Yeah. Keeping allegedly in the chamber. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so he was, uh, let me try it again. He was uh, swallowing up a lot of yoga balls. Bow, bow, allegedly. <laughs> How's that? Um, That's better. That's better. In fact, I, I'm fine allegedly with allegedly that. Allegedly first, maybe. Allegedly, bow, bow, yoga balls. So. <laughs> Okay, so she's yeah. alleging now. She's thrown out. She's been alleging, I guess, over the last week or so. She's been Dwayne, alleging, all right. She's pl doing plenty of legend. <laughs> that uh, Dwayne Wade has, uh, I guess, in in the closet or whatever, or on the down on the DL, the down low, and uh, so. But he's firing back with some allegations that she is also on she, the on yeah, the she got DL. Yeah, she got a liquor license, allegedly. <laughs> she got a liquor license. A liquor license. Yeah. Okay, so let's um, see what. Let's see what uh, they're alleging here in this video. You know how Gabrielle has been exposing Dwayne's secrets and telling us about how he is secretly gay and has been cheating on her with several men? Well, Dwayne is now firing back and revealing some tea about Gabrielle, exposing her for allegedly putting hands on him. But that's not all, because he also had some more crazy tea to spill about her. Uh, did he just expose Gabrielle for being a lesbian? Okay, so it looks like Dwayne Wade is now finally speaking up against Gabrielle's embarrassing revelations. And as it turns out, he has quite a few accusations of his own because he is now accusing Gabriella of being the villain in their marriage and being abusive towards him. This is a something that happens a lot of time that one side is is going at hard at going at the other side hard as if there's no as if there's no accountability on both sides. You're always gonna have accountability on both sides, even if that accountability is neglect. Uh even if that accountability is uh, not creating the boundaries. So clearly, nobody has the right to hit you. I, I'm, I'm, I'm male, female, or otherwise. But I'm gonna just say for the record, if they, if they hit you the second time, and you stay, you have to understand that the, that the, you are, you are communicating that this behavior is acceptable. That you this is to. that these parameters are fine with you. That you're fine to continue, yeah, under these parameters where you're there's so, you're allowing someone to hit you at some point. And, and, but that's and fair make game. It, and yeah. Be clear. Um, it doesn't matter what you say. Doesn't matter how much you yell. No matter what, if you stay, and you're complicit, or you or what you're saying. Here's what you're what you're communicating. You're saying if you hit me again, I'm probably gonna yell again, and I'm probably gonna be mad again. But I'm not. I, this is this is not conditions that make me leave, and I think that guys have to understand that above all else. Um, yeah, yeah. You you allow people to treat you the way you want them to treat you. You allow it. People treat you the way you allow them to treat you. Period. In any condition, whether it's verbal, physical, whatever, it's what you mm -hmm. allow. And if they get away with it, they continue. Um. Also, this is a situation where. This allegedly that he's, you know, swings both ways that, well, he actually had a baby on her while they were together. On the side, you're saying. Yeah. Like he had on a, the side with somebody, somebody else. else. Yeah. 
on the side. So she was alleged allegedly she was accusing him of being gay, which let's just say in, inauthentic. You know, he's accusing him of being inauthentic with dicks. Let's just put it like that. Well, yeah, I mean, if you're going to be gay, be gay. I understand it's it's harder in that community, but that's not being righteous and being honest. If that's what Actually, you, uh, it's weird because it sounds like it's really easy in to that be gay. Because oh, it's, it's going rampant. Well, I mean, Dwayne Wade made it easy, but I mean, he's got some cash. He can make it happen. Girl, the stories he has to tell are quite shocking, and it just shows that not every relationship that we see on social media is as perfect as they make it seem. None of the marriages and the relationships you see on uh, on social media are as nice and as good as they seem to be. They're all social media is all a facade. A yeah. majority of it is facades. People only post the good stuff. Nobody posts the bad stuff. Nobody posts pictures of each other argue in the middle of arguments. Nobody shows, you know, nobody shows all that. So it's all a facade. Nobody's, nobody's ever posted cleaning out the refrigerator. Today right. I'm cleaning out the refrigerator. I'm gonna get these old collard greens out the bottom of the yeah, nobody posts that. Everybody's on a boat. Everybody's on a plane. Nobody. But uh, there's an interesting thing. Even with Gabrielle Union, you could see her, her, um, her body posture is interesting because it's almost like she's constantly overlooking him. I think he's considerably younger. Is that the case? Yeah, he's. I think he's. Uh, he's younger than her by ten years or so, if I recall, because yeah. that was one of those rare relationships where she's the older party. Yeah, well, I mean, it's it kind of, but here's the other thing: you got the same thing happened to Lala and uh, and Carmelo Anthony on the Knicks, and Lala from Power, you know. But this is what happens: you get these guys, these young guys, and they, you know, and they go to the NBA, right? You gotta understand: there's not a lot of room for experience in terms of social engagement. So a lot of them have double practices every day. So we're talking about two, three hours, four hours of practice every day. Then they're going to college. Then they're traveling. Then they're going to games, even at a on a college level, right? And so a lot of these dudes are getting drafted younger and younger. They're young. I'm not sure when he got young, when he got drafted, but you know we've known a lot of some some of the ball players that got drafted right out of high school, and so. You have this situation where now you're you're you know you 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 look like a man because you you know you're a professional athlete. Um, you don't you you're you're younger already, and then you really haven't had any experience with relationships and any and 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 any of that. And now you're worth millions and millions of dollars, and so you're an asset to you know you're the high value man. Or um, and women are coming at you, and you really haven't even worked out who you are as a person, much less how to handle a savvy older chick who really, you know, like I, I you know, nine times out of ten, I mean, from the time that a a a, a little girl, you know, recognizes herself as a woman, guys are liking her from the time. I mean, I, I mean, my my first crush. My first crush was third was first grade. Actually, maybe before that, that when I recognized that I liked girls, um, you know, I denied it. But I'm like, that's your girlfriend. I'd be like, no. But um because <laughs> back then you're, no, you're like, it was gross. They got boogers, they got coochies, but I you know, in retrospect, I, I you and so women have this constant, they have this constant batting practice. Dealing with the socially, uh, the well, they're the constantly pursued right from the beginning. Yeah, yes, so, yeah. So. the problem and also so even, is sorry for these right. athletes and stuff. The other problem is they they never develop any level of game. When you have any level of fame, yeah. uh, you don't have yeah. to develop any level of game. Women just come up to you, and so you have no concept of you know having to pursue what skills it takes to pursue and how to navigate. Somebody and when somebody's sincere and when somebody's not being sincere, you're just happy to get the you're happy to get the the accolades. You're happy to get the attention because it's something that you didn't get before. And now all of a sudden you're famous and and women come at you and they and, you know, like women to the core, to their very core, they can tell when a guy is a sucker. Not and I shouldn't say sucker, but when he just doesn't have I'm not going to say that because that that's even disturbing to me 
because we're trying to get guys to understand where our head, where your head should be at. But to be honest, if you don't, it's a ridiculous thing. Two things that I've said this hundreds of times, the two things that men are supposed to be good at uh, it, 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 without any practice is relationships and sex. And in no other situation in, 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 on earth, any task, nobody is expected to be good at every, everything, everything else. People give you grace to practice and to get to train and to, to dedicate and make sacrifice to be good at something. And right out the gate, you're supposed to be good with women and understand and manage and understand because it's I, a, it is really a dance. I think part of that is that a lot of people assume that you either have it or you don't, that it's like a natural sort of gift sure. that, that, uh, these th just charisma and, and just, women in general, that it's somehow just a natural thing. And it's not, that's not, it's a yeah. skill that you do develop and work on. We just think of it as something that either some guys have it and some guys don't. It doesn't work that way. Yeah. You have to work at it. If you love what we're doing here, go to patreon.com. It's the best way to support us and check out all the bonus content. That's right. Patreon.com slash manschool202. We do weekly bonus episodes. We do listener mail, dating tips. And also, if you love the show, you can go back to the archive starting from episode one. All the episodes will be there at patreon.com slash manschool202. Yeah, and even the guys that I've I've counseled, DanteNero.com, click on consult. Uh, advice from Harry at uh, gmail.com if y'all need a consultation. Even the guys I have consulted with um just um in general they are looking for the end degree the the well i got late right and that's not the last step nor is it the 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 first step or anyone in the mirror you have to commit yourself to the to the whole process because yeah sure you can you can get to the point where you know it's it's funny because i'm a, i'm a, one of the you know, fans of the show. I was just got off the phone with him. Um, and he, uh, you know, he's got three girls that he's dating at once. Um, he hasn't slept with any of them, but he's dating them second and third dates. And, and then, you know, one decides she don't want to go out no more, but you gotta have that ability to carry, you know, to have those balls, keep those balls in the air even if it's not a sexual thing. I mean, I think that there has to, you have to be honest about what your situation is when the, when the situation gets, gets serious, but understand something as much as a woman wants to know that you're a relationship guy doesn't even mean that she wants to be in a relationship with you. It's her way of going, well, if I like this guy and I want to, um, and I want to call him up to the uh, to the majors that he's available. And um, a lot of times men will make themselves so available that it lessens their value. And then women are not attracted to them because they don't think they have any options. Um, because as men, we know that women have nothing but options. Um, maybe not for relationships, but for social engagement, somebody wanting to sleep with you attention, uh, somebody finding you attractive, somebody taking you out, like women have that, that's a constant thing where, because I mean, that's- They have a lot of difference. options, so they could be a little more selective and they could be over-selective in a way where, you know, uh, when you've got millions of dollars, you don't want a little scratch or a little ding on something. Whereas if you don't have that type yeah. of money, you, you go, hey, that's no big deal. You know, you can go, that's, there's nothing wrong with right. that. You get, to, you get to make the choices that are available to you based on your, the, the, the magnitude of your capital, your entertainment capital, um, to the same token, um, you know, a guy like Drake, he, you know, if he's, if a five is trying to talk to him, he's like, nah, I'm good. Thanks. Thanks. I know you love my music, whatever, but I only smash models and tens. And, and, you know, the, all the, the hit, that's his prerogative. You know what I mean? You can't, you can't go, oh, he's, he's shallow, but you want only the hot guys and you want the things. I mean, we all get but a chance. Drake to gets to be well. selective in a way the average woman gets to be selective. You know what I mean? Yeah. But it, Drake has to be right. one of the biggest, the biggest stars in the music industry today 
to get to that level of, of getting to choose and be selective, a, a random woman has that option every day. He sleeps with and flies these out all the time. They like to act like they are Michelle and Barack when in reality, things are not what they seem. Either Gabrielle knows this and doesn't care or she is playing dumb. Well, it turns out that Dwayne wasn't just slinging it to women because he was allegedly doing it with men too. Do what you want. The problem is the honesty. Um, but the problem is also the honesty, the dishonesty of Gabrielle Union. It, there's no way that that is going on. I, I, I understand that, you know, there could be a situation where where uh, somebody could deceive you and you find something out. But once you find it out, when you're sitting in it and you're going through the emotions of the fact of you're not really dealing of what the nature of the relationship is in the first place, then you are being complicit. And so Gabrielle Union, I mean, at some point in time, she knows that something is going on. Um, if not, she's hearing things. If it's men, if it's women, I mean, I think we're in a progressive time where um, there's women who don't even, you know, whatever your your past history, there was a time that if you swang both ways that her heterosexual women would be like, Nah, I'm not. I mean, and there are, I guarantee you there are women that do feel that way. But the point is the honesty of it. You'll always find, you will, you can always find a pot to fit you, a cover to fit your pot, no matter how, how weird or distorted your pot is. And so, um, well, you know, I, the fact that, go ahead. No, go ahead. Uh, the, the, the one thing is when we're talking about, setting patterns up front and people treat you the way you allow yourself to be treated when somebody is cheating on you repeatedly and you know about it like you said after it happens a second time you're saying this is okay you're saying yeah. that this is a this is you're yeah. fine with this pattern right and so yeah. that's on her but it applies to both sides of the relationship when someone continually right. cheats well then you have to you've decided you're staying with a cheater that's it yeah and it, well, and I don't want to for the guy, kids. Girl, you know, otherwise, like, yeah, have, it doesn't matter. You know, if somebody is showing that they have a particular constitution, uh, again, this is a situation where somebody's got an agenda. Like, if somebody's trying to get, if they trying to get their numbers up and they trying to smash marriage, children, ain't nothing going to stop it. Like, you know, President, like the uh, Clinton. Clinton fucking risked the, the most important job in the world so he could fuck around with a with a four. So um it, it it's just ridiculous. The problem is, and then all, and then what happens is you have somebody who's young who probably hasn't had a lot of experience, and now he's exposed to Hollywood and all these other things, and he's never really defined, figured out, and defined who he is as a person in the first place. And so he's exploring with all of these things, which is fine. He has every right to do that. What he doesn't have the right to is to lie about it and bring in, uh, bring it, create a situation where it's he's, you know, making vows and doing this and not saying, yo, this is who I am. I mean, I'm quite sure this, I, I mean, I, I'm quite sure there's plenty of Republican politicians who, who's, sure. who smashes. Always a Republican politician. You know. Always. Getting I mean, caught, that dude Larry, caught in bathroom dude, stalls. Yeah. Why, why stands Larry Craig? He, he they call him wide stand. He's the one that got tapped. And, and he was like, I am not gay or never will be gay. I, I love my wife. Hmm. And I, I just have a wide stance. That's why I wasn't. It's, it's, it's insane. But you're talking about a guy who, you know, who's young, who's coming into his own. And he's, you know, feeling the way, you know, whatever. I mean, if he's into men, if he's into women, if he just wants, he can do all of that. But uh, there, there is a moment where you cannot, you, you cannot keep misrepresenting yourself. But to the same token, if you continue to misrepresent yourself, and your partner is not willing to go, okay, this is the information that's right in front of me. I, I have to accept this. Then at some point in time, it becomes your your responsibility. It's like I say, you know, with people that have gone through trauma, where there's been essay and stuff, and with their parents and uncles and people touching people appropriately and stuff. And I totally get that there's a situation where this this trauma affects all of your relationships. But I I kind of feel like 26, 27, you have a responsibility to kind of fix that shit or 
you know, or stop beefing about it. I mean, I'm not saying you can't have your pain, but you, 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 you have to understand if you're not doing something to fix it. I know for me, I'm not willing to keep listening. I, I don't want to hear the same thing over and over again. I, I you know, you, you, w this is where people use you as a punching bag instead of using you as a, a, a foundation to kind of lean on and, and, and for help. Can we talk about the fact that Gabrielle sometimes made some weird statements that made it come across like she didn't respect Dwayne? Like the time she said, the biggest difference between this and the last marriage will be a prenup at my insistence. And the reality is I've never seen Dwayne balance the checkbook, so I gotta protect my stuff. Cause remember when Jaguar Wright spilled some piping hot tea about Dwayne being on the DL, regularly throwing some wild gay pool parties right at his own crib. Guess it just moved over to the Wade house. I'm not saying that because of their trans daughter. I'm saying that because of the artist that I just spoke to not that long ago that got invited to a party at their house. Everything was cool up front, so they went to the back. But I think the the takeaway is, you know, as a lot of the listeners, they're listening and they're going, um, you know, I can't get this and I can't get that. Or my girl is abusive or my or a woman is going, I have an abusive guy. This is goes straight to this goes straight to you understanding what your what your non-negotiables are, relationships are easy to have. They they uh, know what your non-negotiables are and then never negotiate. That means understand what your boundaries before you in. Don't go in not knowing what the boundaries are. Go in with a clear understanding. You can always adjust it and find out what you're good at, what you're good with. And this is this is what I want to say about, you know, in reference to Kevin Samuels and a lot of the stuff that he says. I don't think he, I don't, I, I definitely believe that a lot of stuff that he says is true because it's statistically true. The problem is that there's a new, there's much more nuance. People love each other. They fall in love based on circumstances and they have trauma and they don't know what their value is. So it's a lot more messy than that. But if you have a woman and she doesn't respect you, she doesn't, then it, it, it's the relationship is only because the, the disrespect is only progressively get worse and vice versa, if you have a guy who doesn't respect you and he's abusive, it will only get progressive. Never will there be a situation where somebody slams on the brakes and say, I'm being nasty, I'm being abusive, I'm being this and that and the other. So understand that. Know your negotiables. Then never negotiate them. It's really important. And understand, don't move too fast, because if you're moving too fast, you're working above your pay grade. And this is clearly what he's He's dealing, he's dealing with a chick who's much more savvy. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first, because if you don't, they won't.